we would launch a revolution which would change world history. Einstein's idle daydreams will profoundly change the way the universe is understood. In 1905, in what's been called his miracle year, he publishes in his spare time four visionary papers, the first of which answers the age-old question, what is light? The photoelectric effect, this paper, written by this total unknown, showed that light comes as a particle called the photon. We use that in television, we use that in laser. Another paper, the 26-year-old Einstein posits something we now take for granted, the existence of atoms. People didn't believe in atoms in those days, but they proved that atoms can actually make small little dust particles move in a liquid. These papers would have been a remarkable career for any physicist, but Einstein is far from finished. He writes yet another paper with the famous equation E equals mc squared. At the simplest level, this means energy can become matter, and matter can become energy. The tiniest speck of matter holds potentially huge amounts of energy. Unleashing it requires a nuclear reaction, the sort going on constantly in the night sky. Ever since people began to look up in the heavens, they would say, what makes the stars shine? But it took Albert Einstein to answer the question. E equals mc squared is Einstein's most famous equation. But another theory he publishes this same year is more important and more controversial, the special theory of relativity. When Einstein was a teenager, he enjoyed imagining what it would be like to ride a beam of light. Now, he returns to this daydream and it changes his life. In the spring of 1905, Einstein was riding on a bus and he Look back at the famous clock tower that dominates Bern, Switzerland. And then he imagined, what happens if that bus were racing near the speed of light? In his imagination, Einstein looks back at the clock tower, and what he sees is astonishing. As he reaches the speed of light, the hands of the clock appear frozen in time. Einstein would later write, a storm broke in my mind. All of a sudden, everything, everything kept gushing forward. Einstein knows that back at the clock tower, time is passing normally. But on Einstein's light speed bus, as he reaches the speed of light, the light from the clock can no longer catch up to him. The faster he races through space, the slower he moves through time. This insight sparks the birth of Einstein's special theory of relativity which says that space and time are deeply connected. In fact, 
they are one and the same, a flexible fabric called space-time. Together, these equations are the Lorentz transformation. They express the mathematical essence of the special theory of relativity. The Lorentz transformation slows time and contracts distances in a moving frame, no matter which frame is taken to be moving. The observer in the moving frame thinks he's at rest and that the other frame is really moving. But these equations do more than that. They actually join time and space together. When an event occurred has no meaning without saying where it occurred. In Galilean relativity, the position of a point x prime in a moving frame is related to its coordinate in a fixed frame by x minus vt. Lorentz found that for the new relativity, this must be multiplied by the factor gamma. That's the equation along the direction of motion. In directions perpendicular to the motion, distances are the same in both frames. And as for time, although clocks can be synchronized in any one frame, their readings in another frame may depend on where they are. The time in the moving frame is gamma times the quantity t minus vx over c squared. Together, these equations are the Lorentz transformation. They express the mathematical essence of the special theory of relativity. I would later write, a storm broke in my mind. All of a sudden, everything, everything kept gushing forward.